Well, first uh, Jared got stuck with the two-track. Now Ashton got stuck with the Fend. And that's Jared over there. He's bringing the strap because he's the last one to get stuck. So he's bringing the strap over here. And uh, I think that's a sign she's going to be a rough field. This stubble is so thick that uh, you can't see any of the wet spots in it at all. Sure, you can see the big lakes of water, but there's water laying in all this stubble. You just can't see it. So I guess I'll uh, unhook here and uh, go pull her out. Hey, my tractor is unhooked. Jared's dropping a strap off. <laughs> we'll get her pulled out here. <laughs> Ashton's like, no, I'm on camera. Uh, and I got stuck. Uh, is there a lot done? But <laughs> that? Keep coming. Oh, we're just getting going. My tranny just kicked out, got a code, and uh, my tractor just stopped. Whoa! Okay. Put our shoes on. Say what? <laughs> oh man. So when we lap the, how we do it, so we go right under here. You gotta be pretty close. You gotta be careful with these little lines right here. You gotta pull pretty straight. I don't trust this. This does not look tough enough. And then we just double it up like that, so. See, when you're looking this way, you can't see the water. You're like, oh yeah, there's water over there, but you can't see it. But there's actually water right there, and I'm like squishing in right here. So she's a little bit soft. Okay, she wants to get going, I guess. That makes sense. We should probably get going. Okay, let's, let's pop this puppy down to third gear. Oh, that's too fast. Let's go to first gear. Oh yeah. No problemo. Uh, get her to stop. Whoa. Whoa. Let's go unhook her. All right, we're unhooked. Ashton's pulling out the straps. She's gonna start rolling it up. We gotta get back to my drill, get hooked up. Sounds like, uh, so this is, I don't know if I said this already, but this is the Ashton's second stuck of the year. And uh, Jared just got stuck about 10 minutes before Ashton did. So he just got pulled out. So far, I'm doing good. I'm on pace to win this thing. Actually, Brian hasn't had a stuck, and I don't think Terry's had a stuck yet. But Lee has a stuck on the truck. So, it's happening, you guys. Whoever wins the pot's gonna be awfully well. This is what I don't like about the John Deere. Where the crap is my hitch? Can't see it. Okay, I gotta go. Okay, I'm hooked up now. I'm just gonna get Ashton to pull that unit ahead, then I'm gonna throw the strap on the back of her tank on her steps. Whew. So in case you guys don't know, I've said this before in another video that we actually have a, a stuck pot, so everybody has to throw 20 bucks in, and then it's five bucks a stuck for every stuck you get. If you have to split it, oh, that strap's in the way. If you have to split the unit, then that's double. Okay, I might get around over here. Okay, I better go. There she goes. So, uh, as I was saying, uh, person with the least amount of stucks wins the pot at the end of the year. Person with the most amount of stucks has to clean the shop bathroom. And that can be unpleasant at times. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. That's probably one of many, let's be honest. So I went to go pull away and I realized that, hey, I don't have any cameras anymore. So you look in your plug and you're like, son of a gun! Those are all supposed to be pointed straight, not all like, woo! Not like
like the swirl of a toilet bowl. Oh, shoot. Well, I'm gonna try and pop some of those back with a flat screwdriver. If I can't get it, I guess I need a new plug. That's not fun. Hey guys, I don't know. Give me that, sorry. Yeah, so, yeah. That's actually really hard to get perfectly straight because it has to go perfectly in there. Like that has no room for play. <sighs> oh, the joys. So after more time, I actually got that thing in there and I'm like, yeah, but what are the odds that it actually works? Ha! I'll show you. And I got, I got number four back. 1A, I mean, whichever one that was gone. It works! Well, guys, it's the same field. N now I'm stuck. Yeah. Yeah, it's bad. Oh! Oh! Well, I found the mud over there and I was just trying to spin my way out, but I was unsuccessful. I'm basically in water here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. When you can find a rock to stand on. So yeah. Woo! Oh yeah. We stuck it, we stuck it. So I tried to get over here to take a better shot. But uh, me and my chicken legs here, uh, yeah, they're they're pretty soupy with water. Yeah, there's water in there. Ha! You see it now? So, you see, I come around this corner, seeding, seeding, seeding a hilltop. Then all I got over there, I'm like, oh, there's water. And then I look this way, I'm like, ah, oh, doesn't look bad. Then I'm like, oh, I better turn out. And then I look this way, I'm like, uh-oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh. That's pretty much it. And my cart's still on dry ground. I haven't even tried to drag my cart through. <laughs> That's when you know. I was spinning here. I managed to spin my way to there and I was trying to find some dry ground, but I was unsuccessful. So yeah. Here comes a tractor to my rescue. It's Jared. At least I hope. Maybe it's just dropping the strap off. He's going to take off. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Jared, he's, he's the man. He has come to my rescue. Mostly because Terry already unhooked one time. I already unhooked once for Ashton. So Brian didn't seem to offer up. So Jared's like, well, okay, I'll come. And then if someone else gets stuck, it's Brian's turn. Right, Jared? Oh. If someone else gets stuck, it's Brian's turn to pull him out. Unless it is Brian that gets stuck. Well, my feet are wet. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of like a lentil. I don't like to get my feet wet, but apparently that happened. Oh! Oh! Get run over here. Who's that? That is, that is, I don't know. Now watch, Jared's gonna go in here and get stuck. All right, we're getting here, we're. Look, that's courtesy to get the strap off. All right, Jared's hooked up. We got the hook, we got the tow cable that comes off the RX. We got a great big old buckle hook to it. And you wanna Well Ah, uh, here's open I guess. When it doesn't work, beat it. What? Oh yeah, so we like to put a coat on the strap, that way it weighs it down a little bit in case we ever broke the buckle or broke the strap, then it would typically fly down. We have almost killed ourselves before doing this, and uh, had to take one guy to the hospital, and uh, blew out the windows on 
on uh, I think almost three outfits. It went back, blew about two there. It went right through another one, through the back window, through the front window, and hit another window on the other one that was pulling it, because there was two units pulling it. Yeah, it was a real bad. Yeah. So we're gonna try not to do that. All right, guys, so we got the 560 up there. We're gonna have to jerk a little bit, because he's sitting in some mud. We have a, uh, I am about 50% loaded on the cart. So here's hoping we can get him. Here we go, get ready. Oh, yeah! This is the third stuck of this field. That's awesome. We almost had it, as in I. I, I know, I got it all covered with mud. I know it's bad. Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, I don't like anything that's muddy. I don't like that at all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that to you. I'm sorry. I should help Brian. Well, we know what popped. My cable holder. There's always a casualty when you get stuck. So now, I'm going to try and hook this cable. You want to pull that cable and stick it up there, and I'm going to see what happens here. Here, I'll help. I'll help. I guess that's as good as we're gonna get. What do you think, Jared? Impressive. Well, more impressive than you were clawing your way out of it. Uh, I tried. I was clawing for quite a while. I know you were. Um, my cable, my cable hold up. Uh, it's no longer in the same place as it used to be. No. No. Well, we just gotta get Jared hooked back up under further review. That that cable uh, holder under there, that's that popped off because of the angle that we were pulling at, not the speed that we were pulling at. The lights on the old 560 aren't like what they are in the RXs, that's for sure. Okay. Thank you, Jared. Ooh. And we're out of here. Thanks for tuning in again. We're basically done this wet field. I got stuck once. Jared got stuck once. Terry almost got stuck. Almost. I was really hoping he was going to get stuck, but he didn't. And uh, Ashton got stuck once. So, I guess I should pull out this way. I am going to uh, load up Ashton's first stuck. Just so you know, it's not on this field. It was a different one, and there was quite a few days between it. But, uh, yeah. Just so you know that. All right, you guys. So, Ashen got the first stuck here, and uh, we brought the 930 over, hooked it onto the front, thought we could do it. We were unsuccessful. We just dug holes and dug the 1050 down a little too deep. Now we got to pull out the big guns and put the RX on it here, and uh, hopefully we'll have a little more success. Now, it doesn't look like she's that bad, and she really isn't, but uh, that cart's full. And it's in mud, and it just doesn't want to roll. It just We just need a little big, bigger, heavier unit here. I'll let you know how that goes. We just gotta get hooked up here. Drop something. Dropping my lunch here.
just around the rock. It's right around here. Yeah. We were pulling on this, but we're worried that we could rip this off. And then that strap would be coming flying at about 300 miles an hour, and that would not be good for anybody. This line won't leave. This is how we've hooked it up and pulled it up before. I feel it's the strongest point. I feel I could rip this thing right off of here. We're gonna go. Okay, we dug it down a little bit, unfortunately, for two tries trying to get it out. That's pretty much the hard pan. It's only about a foot deep. And nothing is sunk back here. So I actually thought it would be an easier pull than this. See, if your card ever starts to sink, well then you're just screwed. But the card hasn't sunk. So that's good news. So we're going to hook this thing up and we're going to give her again. Hopefully we don't rip the poor 1050 in half. Oh. Okay. The flocks are on. I'm on. He, he hit me there a little bit faster than I was ready for. Look at those holes. Oh, we're still digging. We're still spinning. Hold on, hold on. All right, let's go see what kind of damage we did. Oh, I got mud on my rim. Oh, the line's still there. We didn't rip anything off, you guys. All is good, all has fared well. I know. I was in there. Actually, I wasn't in there, but Ashton was. Ashton's cart is still in there. Yeah. Ten fifty got a little bit of dirt on it. Now I gotta go hook up to my drill. Oh, I should probably help him here. Thanks guys for tuning in. Good morning. So this is the first stuck with the Amazon. And to add to that, it's the fourth stuck of the night. Brian got to unhook this time because everybody else is already unhooked last night. He's actually in pretty deep. I don't see the step. And he's fully loaded. What? Well, did you look in the toolbox? Yeah, let's look in the toolbox for this pin. We gotta find this front pin. I wonder if I can drop around the weight. Here it is. You wonder if I should drop around the weight? What weight? There's no weight on this thing. No, oh yeah. Try yeah, we'll try right there. I won't pull too hard though. Okay. I won't All right then. I better fire this thing up, let it air up. So feel like the spur actually isn't hardly stuck at all. See, we actually have some hard pan around this operation, which means that this you can only really go down so far unless you dig it down.
Now, if this was alkali, which would be that white, silty stuff, there is no bottom. You could, you could sink this tractor to the hood or the Amazon to the top of the tank. That's bad. But this, it'll pop right out of here. Here's Mark. Mark, do you have anything to say for yourself? I almost, I almost made it. He almost made it. That's the story of everyone's life. We almost made it. Oh yeah, wheels turning the highway tires. Yeah, that that happens sometimes. <laughs> All right, let's pop them out of here so we can get seeding. Anytime. Anytime. Yeah, I'm still waiting. So are you, I know. Oh yeah, easy! Look at that. Didn't even make the four track spin. Easy peasy, guys. Easy peasy. All right, now I gotta get back seeding. So, talk to you later.